I guess I'll do the first question. So let's see. What was it like participating in this internship virtually? I thought it was really like interesting. I guess I don't really have anything to compare it to because obviously I haven't been here in person a lot, but it was really nice that we had so many speakers and we got to experience, you know, just to look at how government works and all the moving parts, even though we couldn't be there in person. I know I kind of felt the same way with everything because even though it was a virtual internship, we were still very much involved in everything, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like the fact that people, if they asked us a question or asked our opinion, like especially with the governor, he was really truly listening. It wasn't that you were, you know, you come into an internship and you're thinking about being treated like, oh, I'm going to be getting coffee. I'm making coffee. I didn't have to do that once. I didn't have to make coffee once, funny enough. But other than that, they treat us like we're part of the staff, even though we're nowhere near close to being part of the staff. So Joshua, what was it like participating in this program virtually? Well, first off, it really was different than what I expected because when I applied for it, I thought I was going to be face to face because I applied before the coronavirus hit. Me too. So uh, the fact that it was virtual, it took some adjusting, but I just really started to think, you know, man, this is a good opportunity. I don't even want to waste it. The fact it's virtual, I still want to just make the best of it. Yeah, I, I agree. I was expecting it to be face to face. So kind of the virtual was a little bit of a curveball. It was something to adjust to, but I, I think we've done a good job adjusting so far. So what was your internship experience like virtually? So I was kind of scared going into it with it being virtually that we wouldn't get to do as much or that we wouldn't be as involved because we're just kind of out of sight, out of mind. But I've never like been bored <laughs> when you're in and I feel like we contribute so much even though we have been virtual like we get to work on so many things that go directly to the governor um, which I didn't expect especially with them not being able to train us like in person. I feel as though we've done a lot. I'm never bored <laughs> um, and when we talk you know on our meetings it seems like everybody else is really busy too and it's really special that we work on things that go straight to the governor. That was really shocking to me. I was like oh we're, we're doing this you know <laughs> we're really doing this. It's like the first time one goes in his reading file you're like oh my I don't know. <laughs> yeah you're yeah, like Okay, this is happening. This is real. <laughs> what did you learn about the state of government during your internship? So about state government, I learned so much. Being in the office and interacting with the different constitutional officers and people who have been involved with state government for 30 plus years, you've learned how the program, how every program in state government works and how everybody works together. It feels like everything within the state of Arkansas is intertwined. Everybody knows one another and the government as a whole is very reliant on each other. What do you think was your favorite like part of the internship? Okay, so my favorite part of the internship I think was getting to know not only the fellow interns but everybody who works in the office because I was thinking coming into this with it being virtual, it's kind of just like, oh, we're just gonna see a few people every day. No one's really gonna know who we are. If they need something done, they'll just be like, send an email to our supervisor and then she'll tell us. But they really, truly try to integrate us into everything that's happening. And I think also we, I didn't expect the interns to be as close just because we're mm -hmm. online. I felt like it'd be awkward because we're not in person, but we all are like friends and talk all yeah. the time. And I feel like, Honestly, since we're not spread out across the capital, I feel like we're closer mm. in a way because even though we don't see each other all day long, I think we, we meet together as a group multiple times a day and we talk in you know our chats and all that kind of thing and I think that we see each other probably more than we would if we were in person because we'd be so spread out all of our departments and we're not here, we're all together, so I like that a lot. So what did you learn about yourself during this process? Well, I learned that I really like talking to people. I really should ask questions more because like when I was in class, like during the school year when I would be in class, if I didn't understand like a concept, I'll be afraid to ask for help from the teacher because I didn't want to be like embarrassed in front of my classmates. So like the internship, they made people like Ms. Phyllis Bell, Ms. Kimberly Davis, they made me feel comfortable. They made me realize that I can ask questions. Like it's okay to not know what I'm doing. Like I can ask them for help at any time. Going back to when we went to the Capitol, we went to the mansion and everything. Just so you know, everybody, Anna is great at the piano. 
<laughs> played the piano in the governor's mansion for the governor and the first lady. Also, so claps to you for that. Now, <laughs> what was your favorite part of the meal we had at the mansion? Honestly, I think it was uh, the part when we had the etiquette class mm -hmm. and um, she was taking just like, and this is what fork you're gonna use, and this is like how you like pick up your spoon, and then the first lady gets there, and she like turns to Hannah, and like Hannah's like clearly like, I don't know what to do here. Yeah. And the first lady's like, it's okay, I'm not watching. Right. And it's so funny too, because we really just had that etiquette class right before we ate, and I was, one time I was like cutting my food and I realized I was using two knives. Like, and obviously not at once, but I had one resting on my plate and then I picked up the one that was sitting by my plate. And I'm like, I literally just had an etiquette class. Why am I screwing up like this? I'm just like, please don't judge me, Governor and Bird's Lady. Please don't. What will you take with you from the program into future educational professional opportunities? The networking is vitally important. People have preached that to me my whole life, but I've never been in the situation where I'm meeting people who literally run a state every day. I see now that the connections that I make even now while I'm in college are gonna impact me farther in the future. And it pushes me to strive to be better in the things that I do, especially now being around all of these very influential people. If there's anybody out there who's considering to apply for this internship, do it. I know what we're saying is kind of vague in a sense, but it's literally one of the most rewarding experiences I think I've ever had. It's definitely not like a, a, a normal run-of-the-mill internship where they just have you make copies and you know bring them coffee, although clearly we couldn't bring them coffee because it, it was virtual. Yeah. But you know, they really do have you do actual work and it's it's a lot more rewarding than I was expecting. Right, 100%. Okay, I guess that's all the time we have. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for talking with me. <laughs> well, if that's all you have, I'm going to end the recording. Okay.